Rich Bear. Hey guys. Today, we are going to make a video about Gaiman Kirake written test that students of our driving school often ask. Gaiman Kirake is the test to convert foreign valid driver's license to Japanese driver's license. You must pass a written test and driving test for Gaiman Kirake. Our school provides in car lessons for Gaiman Kirake driving test. However, there are some students who are worried about the written test. So, we created some anticipated questions based on information provided by our students who took the written test in the past. Gaiman Kirake written test has 10 general knowledge true or false questions. Passing score is a score of 70% or higher. Normally, every question is very simple and general knowledge about the rules of the road in Japan. But the questions vary depending on the prefecture. Alright guys, let's get started. Vehicles must travel on the right side of the center of the road. Correct answer is false. In Japan, vehicles must travel on the left side of the road. If there is a center line on the road, you must travel on the left side of the center line. If there's no center line on the road, you need to visualize the center of the road and be on the left side of it. Next. Vehicles and streetcars must stop at a place where this sign is displayed. Correct answer is true. This is a stop sign. Vehicles and streetcars must stop just before the stop line. If there's no stop line, they must stop just before the intersection. Although this question says vehicles and streetcars, motorcycles and bicycles also must stop. Next. This sign indicates that there is a school, kindergarten or nursery near the sign. Correct answer is false. This sign indicates that there is a crosswalk. There are two signs of crosswalk. One as an adult is drawn in the sign. There other is two kids are drawn in the sign. The sign with two kids is displayed near a crosswalk and there is a school, kindergarten, or nursery around the sign. For your information, this sign is similar to the crosswalk sign. This is a warning sign that there is a school, kindergarten, or nursery around. This sign doesn't indicate that there's a crosswalk. Don't mix them up. Next. You must be careful not to make noise in a zone where this sign is displayed. Correct answer is false. This sign means beep a horn. When you pass a place where this sign is displayed, you must beep a horn. However, in this question, the sign has supplementary sign below it. This small sign means zone. If the horn sign with this supplementary sign is displayed, you must beep a horn just before you pass the following spots. Number 1. Blind intersection. Number 2. Blind corner. Number 3. Blind top of an uphill. In short, if there is a horn sign only, just beep a horn at that spot. If the horn sign with supplementary sign is displayed, you have to honk a horn at three blind places. Horn zone doesn't mean keep honking a horn. That's too noisy. Next. When you drive on a muddy road or through a puddle, you had better drive slowly with a low gear. Correct answer is true. That's true. It's safer to drive slowly with a low gear when you drive on a bad condition road. 
And also, splashing water over a pedestrian is a traffic violation. You need to avoid puddle or sometimes to stop so you won't splash water over pedestrians. How was the test guys? Most of questions are very simple, right? I believe you all are relieved. But these questions are just anticipated questions. The actual test might vary from what you learned today. And after getting a Japanese license, you need to understand detailed Japanese rules of the road in order to drive on the public road in Japan properly. You can learn further rules of the road in Japan in our other videos. Check them out. Those are videos help you. Moreover, lots of people who passed the Gaiman Kirake test are feeling anxious about driving on the public road. In Japan you must drive on the left side and it's rare in the world. Also, lots of complicated rules exist. It takes time to get used to it. JYC Driving School also provides driving lessons on the public road after getting a license. Of course, lessons are provided in English. Alright guys, we hope you have fulfilling days and feel more comfortable in Japan by getting a Japanese driver's license. Give us a big like, don't forget subscribe. See you next video.